This is WNBA superstar and league MVP Asia Wilson. And this is a bag of potato chips. However, these aren't any ordinary potato chips. These chips are special because these are Asia's chips. You see, Frito-Lay chip brand Ruffles has become an official WNBA sponsor and is signing Asia Wilson to a deal as an athlete partner. Ruffles has a recent history of partnering with athletes on these chip deals to appear on Ruffles bags with their own signature flavors. In the past, they've done deals with NBA stars like LeBron James, Jason Tatum, and Anthony Davis. However, the deal with Asia represents a groundbreaking milestone as she becomes the first female athlete to be a sponsored partner with Ruffles. This significant deal was announced during the same week that Gatorade announced it is signing 2021 Finals MVP Kalea Copper to a lucrative endorsement deal to join its roster of Gatorade-sponsored athletes. Gatorade is no stranger to highlighting women athletes having signed deals with tennis legend Serena Williams, gymnast Sunny Lee, and other WNBA stars like Candace Parker and Elena Deladon. When interviewed about Kalea Copper for The Athletic in July, Candace Parker had this to say, you need new faces. You need new superstars. You need people that are going to be great basketball players, but then off the court, be good people. Both Asia Wilson and Kalea Copper embody this sentiment from Candace Parker, undoubtedly two of the leading ambassadors of modern women's basketball. Not only have they achieved high individual and team success, but they are set up to be successful long term with their respective teams. I mean, Asia Wilson already has a statue outside of the University of South Carolina. Clearly, she is already a legend in the making. When asked about the Ruffles deal, Asia said the following. It means a lot to be the first female athlete to sign because I know I'm the first, but I'm not going to be the last. Just to be a stepping stone there is incredible. This comment got me thinking, who are the young players in the WNBA who are going to step on those stones to take advantage of these opportunities? The players best positioned to gain individual and team success, to be staples of nationally televised games and legacy defining playoff runs. The players popular enough with the media to gain sponsorships and endorsements while being good enough on the court to gain respect from fans and peers. Who are the future faces, the future superstars? Let's take a look. Now, to be considered a face of the league, it's not simply enough to be good on the court. You have to be broadly popular and media savvy to land these types of endorsements. Asia Wilson is a dynamic personality and can be endearing and very funny, creating great on-camera moments, like this classic Vegas-centric response during her draft night interview. What do you say to the Las Vegas fans who are excited to welcome you to their city? What happens in Sin City stays in Sin City. Alea Copper is the same way. She captured the heart of every fan when she got on camera after winning the 2021 Finals MVP award. How did that little girl make her dream come true tonight? I worked so fucking hard. I worked so hard and my teammates and my coaches believed in me and I just stayed down until it was my turn. You know she's KFC for a reason, right? All right, I gotta get- It was raw emotional and relatable. Moments like these are very hard to come by and they're even harder to quantify, but it's safe to say that Asia and Kalea are presented with these moments by being impactful players on the court, having the personality to make these moments special and having the online presence and audience necessary to spread their personality and be attractive to brands and sponsors. Before we start looking at other players, I want to set out the criteria I'm going to use for players to qualify as a future face of the league. First, I want to look at players who are 25 years old or younger. This should capture most players who are in their first three to four seasons in the league and are likely still building their brand and legacy. The second criteria is I only want to look at players who played at least 30 games for their team in this prior season. In order to be considered a face of the league, you obviously have to be on the court. So I think asking a player to play in at least 80% of their team's games is reasonable. And last, I only want players who posted a player impact estimate of higher than 10 for the 2020 season. If you've watched some of my previous videos, I've used PIE before, but as an overview, PIE is an advanced stat that captures everything a player does in a game. It's normalized based on performance of every player on the court so that an average player will have a PIE of around 10. So by including this criteria, I wanna highlight young players who are bringing better than average value to their respective teams. Using this criteria, I've identified five players. 
five players who are 25 or younger and are in position to be leading players on their respective teams and ambassadors of the league. Let's start with this 24-year-old who posted a PIE of 15.6 this season. This is Sabrina Ionescu. Now, you can probably make the argument that Sabrina is already a face of women's basketball. In 2020, she signed a multi-year endorsement deal with Nike, and this was after being courted heavily by Under Armour, which apparently included a personal pitch from Steph Curry himself. Two years ago, ESPN did a cover story on Sabrina called The Making of a Legend. She has appeared in State Farm commercials alongside NBA star Chris Paul, and she did a recent guest appearance on the popular All the Smoke podcast, chopping it up with retired NBA vets Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. Despite this popularity, she doesn't yet have the individual and team accomplishments in the WNBA of players like Asia and Kalea. Her rookie year was cut short by an unfortunate injury after only two games, so she didn't get a chance to compete for Rookie of the Year. The Liberty have been a fringe playoff team over the last few years and haven't had the opportunity to make any deep playoff runs yet. But honestly, it feels like it's only a matter of time for Sabrina and the Liberty. This season, they made the playoffs and pushed the defending champion Chicago Sky to the brink of elimination in a three game series. If Sabrina keeps up her current pace, she will likely make a run at league MVP in the coming seasons. The Liberty will only get better with time and she will have the opportunity to grow and shine in big moments. Next up, this 22-year-old who posted a PIE of 11, this is 2022 number one draft pick and likely rookie of the year, Ryan Howard. Ryan had a solid rookie season for the Atlanta Dream, averaging 26 points and four made three-pointers per 100 possessions. As a rookie, she was asked to shoulder a large offensive load for the Dream and was the unquestioned number one option throughout the season. To have that weight thrust upon her and play well enough to have the Dream fighting for a playoff spot on the last day of the season is significant and bodes well for her future in this league and the future success of the Dream. Under first-year head coach Tanisha Wright, this team is poised to be competitive for the next few years with Ryan Howard as the driving force. As a college athlete, Ryan Howard was a prominent NIL advocate, even being asked to speak at an event when the Kentucky governor signed the NIL bill into law. Shortly after being drafted, she signed a multi-year shoe deal with Jordan Brand. Additionally, she has active endorsement deals with Wingstop and Powerade. Ryan is off to a great start with her career on the court and managing her brand off the court. It's very likely that she'll be playing meaningful games and signing lucrative endorsement deals for years to come. Next up at number three, this 22-year-old with a PIE of 11.6 is Washington Mystics rookie center Shakira Austin. Shakira had an amazing rookie season, providing valuable minutes for the Mystics, often being tasked with guarding some of the top players in the league. Despite drawing tough defensive assignments, she has an excellent defensive rating of 96.8, which is solidly in the top 25 in the entire league. Along with solid defense, she is also averaging 20 points and 15 rebounds per 100 possessions. The Mystics are a really good team with some aging stars, where I could see Shakira potentially slotting into a role and becoming a cornerstone player for the franchise. While she hasn't signed any major endorsement deals or sponsorships just yet, her relatively large online presence with over 100k followers on Instagram suggests it's only a matter of time before the brands want in. She did partner with an apparel company, Vintage Brand, to offer her own line of merchandise called Curly Head Hoops, which included hats, sweatshirts, and cups. As her fame rises and she participates in bigger games in the WNBA, she'll be able to sell more merchandise and procure more lucrative brand deals. At number four, we have a 24-year-old with a PIE of 11.1. This is Las Vegas Aces breakout shooter Jackie Young. Jackie really honed in her game during the offseason and became an absolute assassin from three-point range. In 2021, she played in 32 games and made five three-pointers. This year, she appeared in 34 games and hit 50 three-pointers. That's right, 10 times the amount of three-pointers and roughly the same amount of playing time, contributing to the highest offensive rating of her career at 111.3. Her increase in production have catapulted the Aces from a solid offensive team to an absolute juggernaut. Off the court, Jackie secured a multi-year endorsement with Puma during her draft year in 2019. 
and has been the face of their women's hoops activewear. The Las Vegas Aces are poised to be good for a long time. Their core talent of Jackie Young, Kelsey Plum, and Chelsea Gray, and Asia Wilson are all locked into multi-year contract extensions until late 2025. So Jackie will get plenty of opportunities in the future to continue to grow her game and to grow her brand. And last, at number five, this 25-year-old with a PIE of 13.5 is Dallas Wings center Tierra McCowan. Tierra unfortunately spent the first few years of her career playing for bad Indiana Fever squads. But now that she's on the wings and contributed to their playoff run, the world has been reminded of what made her a star coming out of Mississippi State. She has all the size and the skill to be the second coming of Sylvia Fowles, to be the next dominant big in the WNBA. She is an absolute force on the offensive glass, leading the league in offensive rebounds for three straight seasons. Last player to do that was Yolanda Griffith, and well, she's in the Basketball Hall of Fame. These offensive boards have led to an increase in second chance buckets for the wings and have helped her own offensive production creep up a bit, averaging about 30 points on 11 made shots per 100 possessions. Tierra doesn't have any endorsements or sponsorships to speak of, but hopefully as these doors get opened to more WNBA players, Tierra can benefit from some of that shine. And there you have it my list of five young players under 25 who I think are best positioned to be future faces of the league based on their current play on the court and leadership and commercial savvy off the court. Between these five ladies, I'm certain there will be years of all-star nominations, all WNBA team selections, and championships, as well as signature shoes, commercials, and hopefully a lot of growth to the game. Well, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you in the next one.